free running parkour. Is free running parkour a sport, yes or no? Well, free running parkour is not a sport. It's a way of life. And the founder of uh, free running parkour, you'll see it later in this movie, he had a philosophy about behind free running parkour. It must be positive, always positive. And everybody who is doing free running parkour is equal. So equality is everywhere. We have no competitive battle. Not from, I am better than you and you are better than me. No. Equal. Everybody is equal. And that's why the second rule is respect. Respect to the other free runner or the, or the parkour player, but also outside in the personal life. And it doesn't matter if you are young or old, if you were a beginner or evolved, you have to be respectful to everybody. And also the stuff behind you, where you are playing or doing the parkour free running. Another aspect of free runners, they are helpful. They are always helping the other person and to, stim to, to stimulate the other to go on, to go on in parkour free running. And at the same time, you are pushing your boundaries. What I mean by that, pushing your boundaries, you think that you can jump from here to there, and not from here to there, well, you can. You're pushing your boundaries, you can do more and more in time. Yeah? So, during the evolving of parkour free running, you're helping yourself and another. And it's also uh, good for your personal life. If you are finding solutions in free running parkour, it, you see also uh, solutions in your personal life. And that's why I became a free runner. The five acts of free running. We have fun, freedom, fitness, friendship and fulfillment. In this second uh, part I will tell you about the history of free running parkour. Where does it come from? Well, in the last century we had the Vietnam War. And a French, a French officer, marine man, Georges Hébert, he had an escape technique because he was with the enemy. How to go to the enemy and go back without seeing? And he teached his soldiers, his marines, to come to climb over trees, climb over a wall, doing this, go and go back as fast as soon as possible, as quick as possible. And one of his recruits was Sebastian Huguen. And he take him back to France in Lise. Lise is a small town near Paris. And there in Lise he evolved the parkour later. And one of his students was Raymond Bell. And Raymond Bell, well yeah, he, he liked it but he doesn't do much about it. But his son, he heard about it and he thought, hey parkour, that's a, that's a great that's a great uh, thing to do. And parkour is only going as quick as possible from A to B. But David Bell, he took all the parts separate and evolved that step by step. Doing the ball run, how do you do a lazy fold, how do you do this, how do you do uh, a jump. And that we're going to do in the next episode in this series to teach you in the tutorials how to do the moves. So, in a short way, Sebastian Fouquet was the founder of parkour and Dave Bell the founder of free running. <laughs> Walking in the school like a bus, they cross. Walking in the face and I'm driving on the floor.